details here. So now we're going to bend out. I'll explain what we're doing. Now we need to we need to install a spacer on this on this deck, just like we've done in between these first two coils. Okay. You see here. Mm -hmm. So and and what's happened is um, you want a three eighths during three eighths the, space. It's five sixteenths. Mm -hmm. Close enough. Uh, what's happened is we've got just a little bit of a rise here in this section of our coil. So we're going to take a press and just push it down so that it, it lines up a little better. As you can see, there's quite, a, quite an air gap underneath these. And that will cause vibration and noise when the, when the fire goes through it. Oh, is that so? Oh, sure. It's just... just oh, because it's going to be hidden against the... Wait, how is, how is it going to cause that? Why, um, why would that be noisy? Just the combustion, the flow of the gases around the tubing. Mm -hmm. um, probably not so much of a problem with your wood burner. If you have a liquid fuel type burner in your generator, uh, you would actually generate quite a bit of turbulence mm -hmm. and vibration. Mm -hmm. So um, you're not quite so worried about that. But we still want all of these surfaces to touch each other. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. We're just going to take this this bench press here, and uh, mm -hmm. and and just tweak that a little bit. Concentrate, concentrate your energy in the area of the deformity. And you always want to go a little bit past because you're going to get some spring back. And see that spring back almost where it was before. So we, we just, by trial and error, we just... Just keep at it. And that's pretty close. That's pretty close. That will work if you notice when I put the pressure on that outside ring and run it all the way across. We have pretty much good contact all the way across there. Mm -hmm. And that's what our that's what our desire is to get that contact. going to be our bottom stack. We're going to weld our, our spacers here in the same three points that these are. Okay. Then we will cut this here. This is where our seam will be. And then we will cut the stack on top of it in an identical area. So cut it right at where the bend ends. Yep, right where that bend ends, right where that curve starts. And then it will just come up and then it'll just stack up on top of each other. Mm -hmm. And with any luck, I say that sheepishly, luck um, will be, will look pretty good as far as conformity and, and uh, of the package. Mm -hmm. these in. Five sixteenths by six inch.
five on the low automatic two hundred. Is there a technique where you start the, the bead on the rod and go to the metal, or actually, you can start, start on the metal? Actually, I start on the tube. Start on the tube. And then work up to the rod. Uh, and you could do it either way. Uh -huh. I just prefer to go from the bottom up on things like this. Yep. Because that way I don't rest it on the tube too long. If we get too much penetration, we can actually develop a leak where that weld is. Well, so th by that reason, don't you want to start on a tube? Uh, start on a rod. Uh, 